Put that one away, Rob. Not the silly apple. <laughs> Four kids. Not Ryan trying to put y'all on to the kids. <laughs> and unzip that real quick. What? <laughs> What are you doing on your phone? Oh, we're just doing the vlogs again. Oh. Yeah, they wanted the vlogs. Apartment vlogs! Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense, because we haven't vlogged in a minute. We're not in an apartment, though. We had the new crib! Alright. We can't do, like, an official tour yet. Yeah, not yet. We can't. I mean, they're gonna see it in the videos here at, like, bits and pieces, but this shit is not done yet. We moved into a new spot. We wanted to update you guys a little bit. They might be excited about, you know, to see where we moved in, just because the apartments were such a big part of the channel, I feel like, mm -hmm. so we gotta do it justice by maybe getting it ready, getting some furniture. My room's done for the most part. I still have some other things to get rid of and add, whatever, but we will do a full room, t a full thing tour in what? By next month. You the Echo? Echo! We don't have shit in here. When are these dropping though? Oh, the new Strawberry Park Velvet Suede Track tracksuit. Suit? Dropping in uh, multiple different colors. Okay, those are insane. How are we making these? Do you like this or do you like the t-shirt? Oh wait, you got a tee on too? The Strawberry Park t-shirt. The material? Bro. And that that whole fit kind of just goes too. We haven't been vlogging, but we have been kind of loading up on some stuff. You like the mesh inside with the material and shit? Oh, so it's breathable? Yeah. This is my question for Rob. Logan Paul incident. Oh, I've been hearing about that. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this on the vlog. Okay, let me throw Because we get back into it. We just talking about shit. We hanging out. We can like literally vlog every day, I think, if we wanted to. And why not? We, we did reactions every day. I was like, why don't we like try to upload vlogs every day. At some point this year, I think we could we could do that. Because we could talk, for, I could talk forever. Give me anything to talk about, I'll talk about it for 20 years. The Logan Paul thing, I had a hot take that I was gonna share with you guys and see what y'all thought. If those of you have been living under a rock over the past month, Logan Paul has been getting absolutely rotisserie chickened on social media because of his crypto zoo scandal and then the little pig thing happened where he had a pig that they found, whatever. Yeah, then the CoffeeZilla guy made the expose video, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. And then Logan made a response and then Logan apologized. I had to give my three cents on it. Even though, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, why not? But I'm a YouTuber. We make YouTube videos, Logan Paul's on YouTube. We could talk about it. I don't think I'm gonna have many people agree with me. Okay. I feel bad for Logan Paul and I don't think the amount of hate that he's getting is justified. Why do you say that though? I think the bottom line is he messed up. Everyone could probably agree on that, mm -hmm. him as well. But I don't think that he had bad intentions. He didn't go, let me rinse these people of their thing and make them all go broke, I don't give a fuck. I think he made poor decisions mm -hmm. with the having people on his team that he wasn't 100%, what, they weren't completely vetted perfectly. And okay, people ended up trusting him and they lost money. Okay, and then they absolutely crucify him. He's not taking accountability, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and, and you on Twitter saying that and you've done nothing wrong in your entire life. I just think people, hold celebrities, influencers, whatever, to this high standard, which mm. is fair enough. With great power comes great responsibility. But I just feel like they beat him into a pulp. For no, I, I, he's a real person. I see what you're saying. He's, and he does have a lot of like stuff on his plate, I would say. And he has probably a lot of pressure about different people that work for him and things like that. He has to uphold a lot of things. But at what point do you like, hold somebody accountable. And yeah, everyone makes mistakes, but that mistake was kind of like something that should have maybe been addressed earlier than it did. And I think that was the issue is like, well, why are you saying something now, like after he exposed you? Him not addressing it earlier was his biggest fault. And mm -hmm. I think he was like, oh fuck, this all just went to shit. But yeah, I don't think he, he his plan was to be malicious and like he take was, everyone's money. I think it was, oh, he's making another business venture where he'll make profits and ideally all the people participating get to make money as well. Yeah, and I think it's a good like thing for him to go through to make him realize like maybe I should be more tight on like who's working with me and the process of hiring people and whatnot. I'm sure he'll be more careful now and like, oh yeah, I bet you will. You know what I mean? And I, nothing like that will happen again. I just think absolutely he should have been, hey, what's the deal with this? Yeah. But I think it turned into a dog pile situation where I was like, he mm -hmm. became the boogeyman. Yeah. That everyone, like first, okay, Andrew Tate, they got him in the ground and Logan Paul. But I think someone like Logan Paul, like that has already like had something in the past that was controversial and that like he was already on thin ice. They were ready. Say. So they were ready for any little thing that he would do and this was the thing and it was like, 
Damn, and it sucked that he had to go through that again, but in the internet world, he was in that position where, hey, all right, we get, we're giving you another chance. And then this one thing I think just yeah. broke the- uh, If you're a Logan Paul, a Jake Paul, a big celebrity, or a big celebrity who's had controversy before or whatever, your chances are, technically, you, you don't get any chances. Yeah. You don't get three strikes and now you're out. Yeah. It's like one strike and we're gonna let you know that you got a strike to yeah. the fullest extent. And I can't imagine having that much fame either and like doing the things they have to do. And Logan Paul, has the what the prime drink which is good i drank the new flavor today <laughs> oh we should show them that the yeah. energy one is good Ooh. are That's we gonna true. get canceled for showing them that look look i I'm wish a, the prime wasn't so good i i <laughs> no, i know i wish logan paul wasn't so controversial i know because then like i can like freely enjoy the prime because it's so they good. gave us the energy drinks they keep sending us Thank you, Prime. They keep sending us packages. I keep drinking them. Okay, God, they're good. They scream out my failures and whisper my accomplishments. How many times were people boasting online, a big headline, Logan Paul changes someone's life with the Impulsive Podcast. You know how hard Logan has had to work to build the Impulsive Podcast? Get all the guests, the networking, uh, pay his whole payroll of people, do the YouTube channel, the Pokemon card thing, the Prime, the WWE, him boxing Floyd Mayweather. He inspired me to think bigger. He inspired millions of other people who, and he brought on guests. He went from not being a good podcaster or just starting to now he's a great podcaster, mm -hmm. helping out so many people. You don't hear about that. Here's what you did wrong, fuck everything else. And what sucks is that that's just the way it works. Especially the online world is you slip up. It's like when, when your parents say something wrong and you're, you'll hold them accountable and you're like, hey, you said this or you said that. That's how the commenters are. They'll bring up anything. They'll remember what you said in 10 videos ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, you said it when you get 10,000 likes, you're gonna do this. Okay. And I think it's because me as a, I don't know what you want to call me, a YouTuber or whatever, I'm able to empathize with Logan Paul and be like, hey, it's not fun to be at the center of a dog pile. When I watched the, the Cameron Dallas documentary 20 years ago, he was like, oh, I can't, I'm having a panic attack yeah. during the meet and greets. I'm like, you pretentious asshole. Mm. You're having a meet and greet with thousands of people. Suck it up, bro. Mm. Until I actually had a meet and greet and I was like, oh, I get what he was saying now. Yeah. Until you walk in their shoes, you don't get it. They don't know him personally. They don't know. That's true. And imagine how tough it could be on someone like Logan Paul right now to have to almost feel like he has to make a response because everyone online wants to use his name for views and clicks as well. So if one person says something CoffeeZilla and he already has a big platform, mm -hmm. other YouTubers are gonna make videos and that's just like gonna amplify the situation and then Logan can't even say his thing and it's maybe not even, you know, true or whatever, but the internet works in that way where they want clicks and they the internet thrives on negativity and the downfall of other people. Mm -hmm. That's why you see videos like the downfall of <laughs> Logan Paul and the downfall and the rise and this person. That's what gets views. That's what well, sells. So well, it's like, what are there more of? The downfall of or the rise of? Yeah. That's why you don't get documentaries of people until like after they die. <laughs> yeah. Well, or when something goes haywire. I get it. The drama. I watched the whole CoffeeZilla thing. I didn't even know. I was like, huh? We're mad about what? Crypto? I didn't even get the fucking thing. I didn't even know he yeah. made crypto zoo. I didn't even follow that. Whoopsies. I was but just. And again, like imagine if you did though, like we would have a different view on it, I would say. But I think it is good to bring up like how maybe Logan's side could be because say you lost your whole life savings or whatever in, in the crypto thing, I would have a different feeling towards it. And I thought about that too. People say, well, okay, you're feeling bad for Logan Paul. What about the people that trusted him and lost their life savings? Well, to be fair. You shouldn't have dumped your money into <laughs> the thing, yeah. You have to take accountability. Let's yeah. say you're an angry person who dumped their money into Logan. You trust a Logan Paul. Yeah. You dumped your whole shit into his thing. That's true. Who's the only person in charge of your finances? Not Logan Paul. It's like, I just lost all my money at the casino. Well, did you put the money in the slot machine? Yes. Ethereum just went down. I just lost all my crypto. Well, whose fault is that? But it's Ethereum's. Yeah, I think if you're investing your whole life savings in something that is really going to mess you up, then don't do it. Because then it's like, yeah, then you're really complaining over something that you did, though, to yourself, kind of. While I can understand the, bo the all sides of, hey, it wasn't right, and he hired a criminal, and okay. He fucked up. But I saw a, uh, a stoic quote that was like, be lenient with others and strict with yourself. Everyone's strict with 
everyone else except for themselves. Yeah. When, when I saw every YouTuber coming online making a hit piece on here's why Logan Paul is the worst scummy person yeah. on the planet. And you're the perfect person ever. You have nothing wrong about you. You've never done anything bad. You never messed up before. You never took had to take accountability for this and that. Yeah. No, but nobody's And gonna. think about it like Logan Paul is massive. He's famous. Mm -hmm. Do you really think he's gonna he wants to have another thing about him? Uh, you think he wants to be getting in trouble? Like, I don't think he's trying to ruin his career, I guess. I, I think he made a mistake with doing it, hiring the wrong people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all watch the thing. It just feels unfortunate and damn is he getting dogpiled. And then the pig incident came out. Logan Paul's pig was found and then they go, fucking Logan Paul. And then it came out, no, See, he's, yeah. he gave it away to a good person and then they ended up putting it in a bad situation. People be lunging like a fucking tread. Yeah. Hussein Bolt Olympic to like tear someone yeah. down. And what it's like, fuck? you find one thing and it's like, well, I'm gonna keep digging. I'm gonna keep finding more stuff. His name's hot right now, let me contribute. It hurt my feelings, because I saw the video of him. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire, uh, an ego, flair, whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money. I just saw the pain in his eyes. But nobody wants to think of him as a real person. They view celebrities as some sort of like not real thing. Whereas mm -hmm. if you were friends with Logan Paul and actually met him in person and got to speak to him, you wouldn't be so mean. Yeah. And it's like, I guess I can kind of put myself in his shoes, but then again, it's like, I don't know what's behind all of this. He is big and he's associated with so many different companies. Like, you gotta be saying the right things. You can't really be in any controversy. You can't if, mess if, up. If you're in the WWE, if you have a, a hydration drink, that's in whatever, if you have a podcast, this, I don't think he did anything bad, but even if he did, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything behind his team saying, okay, controlling him to but say But why would he things. intentionally do something bad with all those things he has going on. And that's what I'm saying too, is like, why would he intend to? And that, I'm saying, new levels, new devils. He has been pioneering the social media space since he came on in Vine. He's been leveling it up, doing things that nobody did before, clearing a path and paving the way, and taking all the fucking flat. I don't wanna mess up like Logan Paul, let me not do this and that. That's true. Like, he's had to be the face, and he's had to be the punching bag for like, making mistakes and doing all that type of shit. So, and that's just what comes with the person he is and what he's, at the, and the level he's at mm -hmm. you have to be prepared for that right it's like yeah that's actually it it's like when you're at the top people are fighting for that spot so mm -hmm. it's like they'll do anything to tear you down and your name gets views shitting on you gets views so i mean that's what we're making a video too but we're not shitting on him though <laughs> yeah you wanted like, to kind I didn't of talk see, about him i didn't see one video that was like he didn't mean to do it yeah and he messed up and I it's feel like bad. we're trying to see all sides of this and it's like you kind of almost feel bad because he's making videos saying sorry, mm -hmm. uh, catching up saying, okay, I'm gonna work on CryptoZoo again. It's not like it's not like he left and he took the money and well, how do, what happens to that money that was that people lost? Does it get reimbursed or how? The thing how was it? confusing me and I probably won't, I can't give you an answer. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Maybe but the it, comments the, might know. The bottom line was he didn't make a dime and only lost millions in the process of trying to do this. So it's like- And then isn't he giving back millions now too? And now he's giving back more because they dogpiled his ass. Golly, can y'all give him five minutes of a break at least? Like, holy fuck. Because if you were him and you were a social media person trying your best to do another business venture and then it kind of blew up in your face and you made the wrong decision, you would want someone to be gracious with yeah. you and you would want like forgiveness or you would want some sort, I sound like a fucking preacher right now. You would just want some sort of like, people not be so hard on you, but they that's not how they run it. Yeah, and the word scammer just gets thrown around where it's like, He's not really a scammer, and people that would normally scam would be anonymous, like, they would try to be behind cameras, behind identity. So it feels weird that people are saying, he's scamming everyone. I don't know, I don't think he was. And everyone just gets to make their hit pieces and keyboard warriors, keyboard elitists who are just so much better. They could never do something like that. And even in the responses, I could click on this right now. I thought the Matrix got your clown ass. Oh, this is in cheek. Wow, someone said something nice. Anyone who's responding to this negatively has never run a business, managed a team, created, sold a product, or produced anything of value in their lives. Don't speak on what you don't understand. That's what it is. A lot of people speaking about things they don't understand. And it's like, even me right now, it's like, I'm, I can't really speak about it too much because I don't know about the whole crypto zoo thing. Nah. Like, I don't know about crypto and money and all that within it, but. I don't even get the point of the fucking game. Like I, <laughs> the dude explained, I said, huh? I didn't even know it was a thing, but whatever, I'm just not up to date. He still did not take accountability. He said, I'm sorry for how things unfolded. He refuses to believe it's his fault. Additionally, he said full investigation 
whoever's accountable. And now he's treating Coffeezilla like his best friend, yet he doesn't follow him. Oh, bruh. And, and you, sir, have never done anything bad. That's why I'd be the first saying, I'd be fucking up 18 times a day. I could never be, well, maybe, it. and that's enough. I could find myself in my own contradiction. Well, Rhino said in this one video, he could be this. Hey man, everyone is imperfect. And at the end of the day, it's like almost just entertainment. People just choose to get mad about things when at the end of the day, it don't even matter. Are you mad about Logan Paul's thing? Well, what about your life? Should you be doing anything in your life? Should you be mad at anything in your life? And instead of like talking bad about what Logan Paul did recently, it's like, I'd rather enjoy the good things he's doing, like drinking the Prime and watching him on WWE. Nobody wants to talk about the good. The good things that he did and the lives he changed. What about the millions of lives that he impacted from the impulsive? And just like inspiring people to vlog or make videos and... Going into this year and seeing that, I, it made me want to be a kinder person. I'm just getting so much better as I get older. I'm just a kind of hearted individual. So Ryan he has to be nice to us now. I have to be oh, nice to everyone. I like that. But but I have to... New year. I have one quick story time. It's a new year. I felt something different in the air this year. When that clock struck, whatever the fuck it struck, I was like, oh yeah. yeah. I felt something in the air. I feel like things are... Moving. 2023 might be a good year. There ain't no COVID excuse about nothing. Well, COVID slow things down. No, that's not an excuse anymore. I'm alive and well. So I feel really excited about the year, but I wrote this down because I wanted to talk about this. There's one thing, I talk about being nice and being kind and everything. There's one thing that has pissed me off more than anything in my entire existence. And I don't get mad at stuff, but holy fuck am I mad. What is it? I sold pants on eBay. You're an eBay seller now. I'll keep this short and sweet. Years ago, I bought some gallery department sweatpants. Barney's New York. Shut down forever now. Shut down forever, damn. Rest in peace, Barney's. Bought the sweatpants. I think they were like $400 or $300, something stupid. Something I shouldn't have spent money on. I sold them recently. I said, I got my wear out of these for years. I'll sell them on eBay. I sold them on eBay. The guy buys them for 100. Good deal. And then he responds, hey, just wanna make sure these are authentic. Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, bro, I bought them from Barney's three years ago. Yeah. Like, you good? He's like, cool. I ship them immediately, fast shipping. I'd be on my shit. And then he responds, yo, these are fucking fake, bro. I just went home and looked at my gallery department sweatpants. These are fakes. I said, no, they're not. They're real. I don't even know where you would get fake sweatpants. Me and this dude have a fucking argument with each other. I'm like, bro, go authenticate them anywhere. He said, no, they all come with the orange tag. Yours doesn't have it. I'm like, I don't fucking know. I don't, they didn't make an orange tag when I bought them four years ago. He left a negative review on my eBay. No way. And after I got a negative review, eBay restricted my account and put all my payments on hold and then they just shut down my account. And if somebody's gonna do that over not having an orange tag. And, and this dude, he said, I'm a fashion guy. I know that these are fake. And I'm sitting here thinking, like imagine me trying to argue with you that your name's not Rob. Wouldn't you be frustrated? Hey man, what's your name? And then I get banned or I <laughs> just get locked up. I hit up eBay, whatever. How I does he have that control though? That's what I'm fucking just saying. Lock your whole account. So my whole shit, my well, whole If you game. didn't see the orange tag in the photos you provided, why would you buy it? Then? Bro, he spent the money on the picture. Like you posted pictures on him. Bro, if, you, if you looked at the photos and thought something was sus, why did you go ahead and check out? Yeah. Bro, and when he left the you room. You said you're a fashion guy. Clearly, you're not. I can just see Ryan in the morning just pissed off, Bro, like, arguing. I don't get mad at stuff, really. I could get annoyed or whatever. I have never felt this amount of rage before in my adult life. Maybe you had to let it out before your new, you know, page I, turn in 2023. I think so. Here's me, this is me and this guy going back and forth, just hella messages. Um, Those are the long messages, too. Bro, just got home and looked at my pants. Yours is fake. The size is on an orange tab for all gallery department. You're also missing the second tag. I said the pants are fake. I purchased them three years ago at Barney's, blah, blah, blah. My brother, they only have one tag. I Not said, bro, my brother. I said, bro, take them to any place and get them authenticated. They're real. I, but unless Barney's New York sold me fake pants, they're real, bro. I don't know where you get fakes. Sir, you can YouTube or Google it. I'm not wasting money. It's fake, sir. Only fakes have the tag. So on. can anyone just say something's fake and yes. just report an account? Sir, I'm a fashion person. You're still trying to tell me it's real. Look at the tags on Grail, blah, 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 blah. For one, Barney's didn't even carry these till later. For two, the original, to, and he's just going at me. And then he should be, you really need to be ashamed of yourself for shipping this BS. Damn, he really was not having a good day. LOL, don't get mad because you got caught. It's fake, now stop wasting my time. I'll contact eBay. Dude left a negative review. Seems like a young person, like. Well, he's a fashion person. And then. He's a fashion person. I just person. had to share what, is, what does that mean? What I'm, is, a, I'm a fashion person. Show me your fit. <laughs> Let me see your Instagram, dumbass. I just had to share this with y'all because I, I just had to bitch about this to somebody. He sold me fake gallery department pants. Poor imitation of the real one. Beware. 
You're getting trolled or something. Not the beware on your newly open registered eBay account. The fact that, and I think it's something about the eBay buyers, they're a different breed of person. What a vindictive thing. Were they ruthless? To say, beware. What the f I'm like, oh my God, I wanna punch you. I wanna just fight you. This is what it takes to own an eBay business, Ryan. Do you have what it takes? And now eBay's, I'm trying to get my account back up and it's like fucking impossible. I've called them six times. We just need to make sure it's, it's you selling it. I'm Rhino! Bro, the beware, like the, I'm gonna now try to like, fuck you up your whole thing, cause I'm mad. I've never wanted to like, hurt someone, until now. Can I say that? Like I just, I'm gonna beware Rhino. Like if I saw that dude in public, oh my god, I'd be pissed. Thank you for letting me get that out. You're welcome. But like the fake stuff don't even, can't even tell nowadays, and I feel like everyone's wearing fake stuff. I mean, they were paint splatter pants. I mean, and so what if they're fake? It's like, bro, you're a head ass for, all right, fake. Well, the pants are real. Yeah. They're not imaginary pants. And it's like, how much did you put them up there for? A hundred? I put them 99 cents and let the auction do its thing. Yeah, and how much did they sell for? A hundred. And if you're gonna let something go for a hundred, like scam someone for a hundred. You not, bought it, bro. I'm gonna scam someone. I'm gonna actually scam someone out of some money. Like, uh, he really thinks you're scam, like a hundred dollars? Poor imitation. not a scam. Poor imitation of the real ones. So why'd you fall for it? He should have messaged you earlier saying, does it have an orange tag? You really cared? I'm pissed he left the review. That's what stung. That's what really had me tight. Bro, and then eBay's not helping me out. It's just, it just sucks. But on a lighter note, I'll end this with a lighter note. It's a new year. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling, I just, you get to be a new you. I would say it does give you an excuse to kind of like, have that new beginning of that reset. So I'm just, like I said, I'm feeling nicer after I got that out of my system. I like that. The new nice, cause, I mean, you're always, you always nice. I think that I'm a nice guy. I wonder how they perceive us. Are, do, do we look like nice guys? I'm always curious about that and I try to get a good gauge of what people think about me in the comments, but it's like, sometimes people will comment something and I'll be like, that is not even anything close to, Whatever, but you know, that's just the comments. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? What, yeah, what can you do? But you wanna read the feedback. I want people to be like, hey. Yeah, but then we don't wanna like have to correct every comment. Mm -hmm. like, no, technically, it's just like, I've d that's what we signed up for. It's like, you know what I mean? Uh huh. To what extent do you address things? To what extent do you cater to other people's whims. I mean, Mr. Beast in his podcast, you went on Alex Friedman podcast that he literally hates the comment section. Really? If you have somebody like Mr. Beast that doesn't like reading comments, then we shouldn't let them. Yeah. See, but that ties in though with the Logan Paul thing is like, when should you respond? Like it got to the point where he mm -hmm. had to respond. It's like, there are some comments that I don't agree with that I would like to respond to, but it's not a big enough issue. Like it's not a movement, mm -hmm. but when you got everybody on that side, it's like, okay, time to make a video, time to address okay. it. Okay. And I'm sure it can ass. never be fun for the creator or whoever has to do that. I started reading a book. I'm going to be reading at least a book a month. So I See, I'm doing a new thing where I like not saying what I'm doing just oh. because like I end up not doing it. That's just a, that's just for me. And it's like, I, then I feel bad about myself. Like, I'm like, damn, I told, I said I was gonna do this and I didn't. But see, I believe in you. Because I'm not. <laughs> Wouldn't that give you more motivation though? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because like. I did, the pressure, you don't like the pressure of actually having to fall through. Maybe. You gotta hold yourself accountable. Because that, that is the thing though too, is like if, you, if I say it online, it's like, how, I hold you more accountable. Because then you could just end up doing nothing, right? If you see, because then that's when I get thinking though, because I think that, then I think, okay, well I've done things before I say things and then I don't do it I mean, and I don't like like that. Well, maybe don't don't <laughs> so just don't say. So I'm like I'm at the point. I'm like, ah. well, you can you can can you say small goals like achievable things, right? Yeah, because also you don't say to. a thousand things and then you're like, oh. Because you speak? also want to speak what like speaking things into existence is a yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Manifesting. What do you think you're telling yourself and maybe not though? I want to grab the prime thing, but I want to show them the book that I'm reading in my room. We can okay. just do that. Yeah. Cause like, maybe it'll inspire me to, you know, start reading again. We just had a task grab a guy, nice guy from Russia. I don't know why I had to point out that he was Russian, but he hung up these posters that we've had. And this is, I love this one. In his lust for power, he forgot the joy of living. This is essentially me and my rage for world domination. People forget the joy of living. We're so quick to be mad about shit. But like, damn, I'm alive. I'm really in this bitch. Like bro, somebody has no arms right now. I've had a lot of moments recently where I'm like, damn, I just been able to appreciate. I saw these birds flying across the highway and shit. And I was like, damn, what a beautiful sight. 
right as I'm coming there flying over. See, I'm like on my woke wisdom shit. Ryan's really on some new shit. I'm on some new shit. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> I'm broken and fucked up next week. What is this thing? A fucking cardboard thing? I bought this at a fucking antique store. With some artist in LA. I thought it was funky. Follow me to my room, which is not fully done. Bring the hookers. <laughs> oh, hopefully not, we're not rolling. Oh, we are. Oh, well. I never thought about having a hooker. Yeah, that's just dirty to me. Is that dirt? Like, I just couldn't. Eat. I don't want AIDS, bro. Welcome to my room. It is coming together. It, I'm, I'm okay with showing it like this. You want a front? Thank you. <laughs> Shout out Logan Paul. <laughs> don't hate me for liking Logan Paul. And KSI. Don't I don't watch KSI. But you got to give credit. He kind of revived Logan Paul's whole career. Jeez. If they didn't box, what would have that's Logan true. done? He would have done something. But it is. I don't watch KSI either. I don't know why. He just does like try not to laugh, which I think that's what it is. I don't watch it because. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that style of content maybe is just not for us, you know? We're just too much, we're too old now. You can watch the Logan Paul, like, Pokemon card thing and be like, oh, I'm into Pokemon cards now. You're not gonna watch KSI like, I wanna try not to laugh now. Or maybe you do. I don't Logan Paul did the Pokemon thing and I was like, he made it look kind of cool. Like, he, I, I was gonna go buy a booster pack, whatever thing, because it was like, this is kind of dope. And his videos are just they're more highly polished. Like, they're art to me, but. Um, but I heard KSI was like the biggest star out there. Yeah, I mean, he's also in the sideman group. Oh my god, they got the energy drink Wait, too. Wait, yeah, this is kind of good. Bro, this is fucking good right now, bro. Strawberry watermelon. Sheesh. Fuck. Wait, how they make that kind of good, though? <laughs> you, know when you, get, good. you know you gotta make like an angry face after you drink it because it's so good? You know it's so good? You have to like read it after. <laughs> so you know it's like... The drink be good when you start looking at the bottle after. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put succulents in these little things. So that's gonna go off little ball, the little ball things. I built this. This is from my new reptile, my 50th reptile. Wait, where's the other one? At this point, I do not know. Neither do I, I don't know. know. Wait, where are the other ones? I don't know where the other ones are. I don't know what is going on anymore. Look, this is a new scenery, new everything. I had to get new everything. See, now this is to your point where, yeah, you don't like to say stuff on the thing because then they hold you accountable. <laughs> that's true, yeah. Bro. Anytime I post a reptile, any a gecko, anything, they're like, I gave it a week. That's generous. See, the comments sometimes be like too truthful though. Mm -hmm. That's when it starts to hurt. <laughs> they're like, you don't even keep them. I'm like, I wish I wouldn't have shared that shit with y'all. I will have a new gecko here next week. I'll go through periods where I'll be taking care of different animals, and then I just give them to different like pet stores when I'm when I'm done with them. Is that wrong? That's not wrong. They don't know the difference between my crib and a pet store. Okay, I don't think that's wrong with the reptiles because like they truly don't like have any emotional like that's sort of like. Now you can build a bond with a dog, with a cat. Yeah, I say if you do that with a dog or something and it's like. Like you have a dog for two years, see ya. Yeah, it's like if Fuck. you give your goldfish away to your cousin, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, reptiles don't have fe well, feelings. But we don't know. Well. We kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> they can feel pain, obviously, but I'm saying they can't feel emotional. Aw, Ryan moved me out of the, they don't know. You did hook it up though. For <laughs> Come on, I hooked it up. We're not having any emotions and shit. I hooked You gave up. him the best scenery, best house. So I got a gecko, it's gonna go in there. We'll meet him or her, or non-binary, you never know. And then my book that I'm reading, actually it's right the foot over here. Oh, Rob. You'll start reading one of these days. Noah's gonna start reading as well. Mm -hmm. I have a whole bunch of books I still gotta read. The Compound Effect. Oh, I have that book. Oh, look at that. I've read that. I'm halfway through it. This took me one day to get halfway through it and I stopped. I gotta finish this shit. See, and that's the thing. That's a good message actually, because people think they can't do things. It's like, oh, I'm not a reader. I can't do it. Apply yourself, see what happens. And this, I'm reading it, I'm like, facts, facts. Bro, and I got some other crazy fucking books too. Whenever I start reading it, I'll let you guys know. We'll do Ryan book reviews. Ryan's book reviews, I know you guys really would care about that. Ryan's book corner. Read with Ryan. There we go. Wait a minute, that's a whole channel. Ryan reads. Ryan reads. <laughs> There's books all down here too. All this is filled with books. What is this one right here? Dark seduction and persuasion tactics. Put that one away, Rob. No way, what's that one about? Put that one away. What else you got over here? Okay, all right, you're done. What every- Yeah, excuse me. Um, Rob. <laughs> How to become a- Excuse hey, me, Rob. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second outside, real quick? Oh, we're doing this again? <laughs> yeah, give me one second. Now, why were you just lunging, grabbing books and shit like that? And you pull out the seduction tactics book. Come on, dude. You were doing a room tour, weren't you? Yeah, but I'm not showing that book. Did you read it? No, I didn't read it yet. But people are gonna think I'm crazy. Why do you have the book? Oh, that's none of your concern. Amazon suggested it. I was buying books on body language and human psychology, and they suggested it. 
I thought it could be an interesting read. I'm not actually trying to dark and manipulate people. Now they're gonna think I'm weird. It's not weird if you have that book. I mean, they can think what they want. I'm not gonna read that one. Oh, welcome to the bathroom. It kinda got a little smell in here for no reason. Give me some trash can. Well, I gotta get more dude wipes. Yeah, the dude wipes. Bro, those we dudes. are clutch. We dudes. I'm you sure. be wiping. I'll be wiping. I heard about the dude wipes though. It's like, yeah, they're good and all, but they clog up the, the thing. Really? The toilet. Oh, shit. I'd, my shit's be clogged. Because you know how they say you can't like throw paper towels and stuff down the toilet? Mm -hmm. And it's like, those don't even break apart. Like, Correct. I seem like. Yeah, and I clogged the toilet upstairs the other day and y'all didn't even know. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I had to run home depot and get a plunger. Beautiful shower. Isn't this place? Are we blessed? We could do whole skits in this bathroom. Oh, no, that's some, actually true. There's hella some... space. I got this poster framed at Hobby Lobby. Monster on the campus. That's what they used to call me back when I went to school. Um, here's where I be naked. Just imagine it. Just imagine that. Just for you viewers out there. For the fan fictions. Is that, so <laughs> is that a kid's shampoo? Not the silly apple <laughs> for kids. You cleaning anything with that? No, I didn't know it was called silly apple. I was like, why'd you get the kids version? <laughs> Wait, three in one what? Oh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash? Oh, I don't trust the three in one. Oh, yeah, you oh. can't trust the three in ones. <laughs> and the kids on top of it? Wait, so you put that on your body? And your hair? Uh, That's meant to clean kid dirt, bruh. I bet he was excited to show that off. Whoops. Yeah. How is that? Does it smell good at least? Yeah, at least. Before I got violated, <laughs> I had something to say about this. Yes, I use this. No, I don't use the three in one. Not Ryan trying to put y'all on to the kid. <laughs> no, no, no. You can, hey, you can do the teak lotion, but I don't know about the three in one. The teak wood lotion was good. I don't think they. <laughs> Ryan get too carried away. He's like, no guys, I'm gonna show him everything. Yeah, yeah that, that one just put it back on the show. Okay, wait, let him put his one. Let's hear him out, let's hear him out. Okay, I'm actually curious now. I'm actually curious. Who are you guys done yet? The silly apple. <laughs> See, now when you say it like that, it sounds worse. Like it's... No, no, it's, oh, it's the... this, then this. No, but, and it's the pump, like, with it. Okay. He probably has something good to say about it. I do. I like the smell of apple stuff. I like apple candles, apple cinnamon this, apple pie, whatever. This, I think, smells really good. So I use this as my body wash, okay? Okay. I just like the smell of it. And I don't think there's a difference between this and the Irish Spring Ocean Breeze scent. Yeah. Cause like, what's, the, what's really kids about it? That's true. Other than the Just the sticker, yeah, yeah, the sticker. If this said men's apple thing, now granted the kids, I don't know, I guess it just- Sophisticated makes, apple. It makes me feel young again. Whatever. Um, whatever. And then this shit, I'll be putting in my hair. I don't know where you get this from. Would this work on Rob and I's hair or not? Yeah, I think so. Man, of course. I'm Stay telling y'all, everyone's been replying to my thing, being like, I've been using the Teakwood body lotion. You need an Amazon affiliate. Link. I need a link. <laughs> Every time I put that on, I don't need cologne, I just put that on. Closet tour to be continued. Lots of stuff to be continued. Did you tell them about how I almost broke this? I had no one dropped this, it came out of the car. We were moving this from our place to this place and the whole thing fell out the back, but luckily it only chipped off one little part. It chipped this and then the ear, but I actually thought it was cool. Kind of gives it character, I would mm -hmm. say. Right? Like if he split in half, oh, you're fucked, but that's, that's fine. You're an artist, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it gives it a nice patina, a nice uh, little personality. Y'all's rooms aren't ready? Nah, yeah, because yeah. we're going to give them Next something video. bit by bit. Yeah, we can't not, give Not all at once. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I agree with that. I agree with that. But yeah, like I said, I'm just feeling something different in the air this year. I'm feeling kinder. Well, we're in a new environment, so yeah, that could be helping. I definitely want to vlog more. Yeah. Because it was fun like showing them the process of us moving into the last spot, and this is kind of like the same vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're getting yeah, the yeah. same sort of energy, and it's like, let's... And we could do more here. You yeah, know? We, oh, yeah. We, ha we haven't showed them it yet, but we have some space here to do some stuff, so. Do y'all want this tracksuit or what? What the fuck, Starting bro? with the tracksuit, though. Are you kidding me? It's embroidered. This ain't no YouTuber merch. This ain't, bro. I look like somebody's cool uncle who's like, who is that guy? Oh, that's so-and-so's uncle. He's yeah. fucking dope. And adults be wearing the tracksuits too and pulling off, so like, this is all ages. Bro, I'm telling you, it's like, elevated pieces i'm not even saying that because it's our stuff but that's what we were wanting to do is like get it to that point where it's like you look at this and it's quality you could wear it up you could wear this out to a nice dinner if you wanted you could chill around the house you look like adam sandler what's that movie called where he uncut gem uncut, uncut gem. gems yeah that's how i feel right now about to 
fucking do something. Man, unzip that real quick. No homo. <laughs> What? <laughs> and a T. Yeah, not only are these pieces elevated, I'm trying to put y'all onto these. You wear the whole, either the yeah. whole thing or just the top. Yeah, we going crazy. I feel like, is that a trend right now, tracksuits? I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I kind of got the pants on. I feel like, they, can, I feel like they'll never go to style though. I'm trying, Track suits, yeah, I I'm trying to make them a thing. Yeah. I want to make them a thing to the point where people get annoyed that how popular they are. I yeah. think we can do that, we can start it here. If y'all could feel this, bro, this feels like a- You know, it looks, it looks cozy. It like, looks like you got it at Saks Fifth Avenue. Yes. This is better quality than hot designer shit that I bought before. You could toss that on and go out anywhere and anyone would look at you and be like, this guy has a good fashion taste. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I, I can't even say nothing else. I mean, you don't have to say anything, just look at it. Just look, just look at this. And if you don't like it, that means you have bad taste. Sorry. <laughs> You're right about that though. I'm not into that. Well, you probably couldn't pull it off. I'm not gonna pay that much money for that. Hey, you don't have the funds. Yeah. You seen the Abercrombie documentary? Yeah. Our shit's not for everyone. <laughs> Walmart is open. <laughs> Love y'all and be kind to one another. Unless they fuck up your eBay account. Stay tuned. That's all, all I gotta say. Don't know why they left me in Ryan's room, but okay. Guess I'll try this teakwood.